it's complicated, but Harry is ever the optimist. Meghan hints at trouble with the royals after Queen's death in wide-ranging new bombshell interview, and reveals she's proud of the warmth of her relationship with the matriarch. Meghan Markle has today given a new bombshell interview with one of her favored U.S. magazines where she paid tribute to the Queen yet hinted that her death and its fallout had been complicated for Prince Harry but he remains ever optimistic. The Duchess of Sussex has spoken to Variety about a wide range of issues including misconceptions about her since she married her royal husband in 2018 especially after the Oprah interview, and claiming their love story had inspired the world because people love love. Meghan took part in a glamorous photo and video shoot for the magazine where she wore a £4,657 Jason Wu dress and other expensive outfits and was filmed laughing and joking and even lying on her stomach kicking her legs with apparent excitement. She also wore a $2,990 Carolina Herrera dress and a $1,560 Galvin gown for the photo shoot. In a feature headlined Meghan Markle lets her guard down, the Duchess spoke first about her recent trip to the UK with Harry where their pseudo-royal tour was interrupted by Her Majesty's death aged 96 on September 8. But in a hint that her death had been troublesome for Harry, who reportedly found out about the passing of his grandmother the just five minutes before the rest of the world, she said of the days and weeks afterwards, it's been a complicated time, but my husband, ever the optimist, said, now she's reunited with her husband. Harry had looked heartbroken as he arrived at Balmoral after learning the Queen had died on a private jet traveling alone without his wife. He stayed for 12 hours, apparently refused to have dinner with King Charles and Prince William and also took a backseat at the funeral where he was not allowed to salute irrespective of his military service. But despite claims that she and Harry have set out to damage the royal family since emigrating in 2020, Meghan told Variety that she remains proud of her relationship with Queen and had a nice warmth with her, calling Her Majesty a matriarch. She said, there's been such an outpouring of love and support. I am really grateful that I was able to be with my husband to support him, especially during that time. What's so beautiful is to look at the legacy that his grandmother was able to leave on so many fronts. Certainly, in terms of female leadership, she is the most shining example of what that looks like. I feel deep gratitude to have been able to spend time with her and get to know her. She added, I've reflected on that first official engagement that I had with her, how special that felt. I feel fortunate, and I continue to be proud to have had a nice warmth with the matriarch of the family. and opening up for the first time about how she felt after the Oprah interview where the Sussexes accused the royal family of racism, she said her California friends had gathered around her to support her. She said, it's like they knew exactly what I needed to feel in that moment. It meant, and still means, so very much to me.
The power of sisterhood and female support can never be underestimated. But she said that the public has misconceptions about her, adding, I think that what happens, looking in from the outside, when there is this much noise, is that you become dehumanized. She said she hopes her Archetypes podcast will help people see her as a real person. In arguably her most wide-ranging interview yet, the Duchess of Sussex revealed. She is done with acting, but would help someone playing her in a film and would not stop her children pursuing it as a career. Megan describes her life with Harry working together in a shared office after getting their children ready in the morning. When not on joint Zoom calls they commute to LA and sometimes take a trip to an In-N-Out Burger drive through where they know our order. Former actress described the warmth her friends showed her after she appeared on Oprah with Harry. She said, it's like they knew exactly what I needed to feel in that moment. It meant, and still means, so very much to me. The power of sisterhood and female support can never be underestimated, she was grateful to be alongside Harry and support him when the Queen died and spoke of treasuring their first engagement together. She said, in big moments in life, you get a lot of perspective. It makes you wonder what you want to focus your energy on. Right now, we feel energized and excited about all of the things we've been building toward. Megan appeared to distance herself from the Netflix docu-series set for release. Suggesting left-wing filmmaker Gloria Steinem had taken the lead she said, it's nice to be able to trust someone with our story, a seasoned director whose work I've long admired, even if it means it may not be the way we would have told it. On her bombshell interview with The Cut in September, which contained a series of attacks on the royals, she suggested she had been too trusting and open. She said, I've had some time to reflect on it. Part of me is just really trusting, really open. I can survive it, Meghan Markle offered a glimpse into her and Prince Harry's day-to-day -day life as she described the pair's cozy wind-down routine, consisting of Wordle, Duolingo, and an endless search through Netflix when the kids are in bed. She also said she loves Scrabble and cooks a mean bolognese sauce. The Duchess of Sussex, 41, also got candid about the family's domestic bliss and revealed that her three-year-old son Archie has loved the British children's show Octonauts for a really long time, perhaps a program he began watching while in the UK. Meghan also poured her heart out to writer Matt Donnelly about how she will not return to acting again despite the success of Suits and being free of royal duties, raising more suspicions that she could enter U.S. politics. No, I am done. I guess never say never, but my intention is to absolutely not, she said. She also offered to help coach any actress who plays her in a drama in future. She said, I hope that in preparing for that role, she finds the softness and the playfulness and the laughter.
the silliness. I just hope she finds the dimensions. Also, she can call me. The Duchess of Sussex also describes what life was like after that explosive Oprah interview, her podcast archetypes, and the Netflix documentary they are making as part of their $100 million contract with the streaming giant. She also revealed Harry's love for fast food joint In-N-Out Burger and how they eat chocolate chip cookies the size of my toddler's head while taking breaks from joint Zoom meetings or commuting together to L.A. Speaking of Harry's eating habits, my husband's favorite is In-N-Out. There's one at the halfway point between L.A. and our neck of the woods. It's really fun to go through the drive through and surprise them. They know our order. Yesterday, the Duchess of Sussex told how her time as a glamorous briefcase girl on the American version of Deal or No Deal made her feel like a bimbo. Megan, who appeared on 34 episodes of the game show, said it was a fascinating experience and she was grateful for the work as an auditioning actress. But she said it made her feel not smart and she quit because of the focus on how she looked. In contrast, the Duchess told how when she was younger, she saw herself as the smart one and not the pretty one. And she said she wanted her daughter Lilibet, 16 months, to be valued first for her brain rather than her appearance. I want our daughter to aspire to be slightly higher. Yeah, I want my Lily to want to be educated and want to be smart and to pride herself on those things, she said. Today she said she and Harry are optimistic about the future and want to be surrounded by family and friends. Describing their passions she said, so much of how my husband and I see things is through our love story. I think that's what people around the world connected to, especially with our wedding. People love love. I am not excluded in that sentiment. And our definition of love is really expansive, partner love, self-love, the love of community and family. We use that as the baseline of the kind of shows and documentaries we want out there. But there is a hint that they are not as hands-on with their upcoming Netflix documentary as first thought. It is being directed by Liz Garbus, she said, it's nice to be able to trust someone with our story, a seasoned director whose work I've long admired, even if it means it may not be the way we would have told it. But that's not why we're telling it. We're trusting our story to someone else, and that means it will go through their lens. Megan also shared insights into the life in the U.S., revealing that they share an office where they do Zoom meetings together. She also said that they commute together to L.A. at times, but only after getting their children ready for the day. She said, we share an office. We work from home, as most people started to do during lockdown.
It allows us to have significant time with our kids at this really special moment in their lives. Well never get this time back. I make breakfast, and we get the kids set for the day. We do a lot of joint calls and zooms, but also try to divide what we can focus our energies on so we can accomplish even more. My husband is on a 24-hour time zone, where half of your life is waking up as the other half is going to sleep. It's kind of the reverse of what I went through living in the UK. He's very good at responding on text. Me, I try to be as fast as possible on email. I've always said, if it takes less than five minutes, do it now. But the Duchess said her acting career is over, despite initially finding fame and fortune on Suits. She said, no, I am done. I guess never say never, but my intention is to absolutely not. But she was asked about how she would feel about somebody playing her in a drama. She said, I haven't given that much thought, to be honest. It's all weird. You have to compartmentalize. Anyone talking about me or casting an actor to play me, that will be a caricature of me that has been created for a business that makes people a lot of money. Once you can separate that out, it's much easier to go, okay. That actually has nothing to do with me. It genuinely doesn't. It's a hard lesson to come to grips with, I hope that in preparing for that role, she finds the softness and the playfulness and the laughter. The silliness. I just hope she finds the dimensions. Also, she can call me. Megan also admitted that she would not stop her children going into entertainment. She said, I would say, great. When you become a parent, you genuinely want your kids to find the things that bring them complete joy. They're our kids, obviously, and they're part of a legacy and a tradition and a family that will have other expectations. But I want them to be able to carve out their own path. If it's the entertainment industry, great. And also, good luck. There are so many people that will talk about what opened the door for my children. But it still takes talent and a lot of grit. We're creating multi-dimensional, interesting, kind, creative people. That's who our kids are.